There I am. There I am. Well, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon on this Wednesday afternoon. I am Portia Wheatley. I am the founder and the president of a nonprofit organization acknowledged as Trophy of Life Incorporated, where we have the opportunity, the privilege, and most of all, the God assignment to render hope, encouragement, and inspiration to you, our audience across the whole wide world. Well, today, um, our guests had a misfortune on today. They uh, had death in the family. Oh, just matter of fact, this morning. So you're, I was going to say you're stuck with me, but all of these Project 365 messages are purposeful. So, you know, I'm not going to say stuck. I was going to say stuck with me, but Okay, I'm back at uh, the drawing board. I'm, I'm like, okay, Lord, what do you want me to say? Please tell me something to, to share on this, our, our platform, which is acknowledged as Project 365, where again, we bring you hope, encouragement, and inspiration, some kind of way, whether it's through Takira and I, or if it's through a uh, video that we may show, or if it's through one of the guests that we may bring to the platform, just know we're going to talk about something that is focused on hope, encouragement, and inspiration. Well, today, what we're going to do is we are going to talk about one simple but powerful word, and I'm only going to do it for about five minutes because you can see I'm in my car. Look, a message of hope, encouragement, and inspiration can come from anywhere, anytime, any site. So today the site is my car, okay? But the word that I wanted to talk about is love. Isn't that a simple word, but it's really, really powerful? Word up. It is love. We're talking about L-O-V-E, love. And you know that there are so many different, well, not so many, but there are several different types of love. But we're just going to talk about one simple word, love, and the um, the love that we have for other people. Not the agape love for right now. We'll talk about that later on. But we're going to talk about just the love that we have for one another, the love that we need for one another. It is amazing how much the world needs love today. And everybody can give love. That is, It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to individuals who don't get love within their own surroundings, within their own family. It is amazing what love can do for a person. Even when you just tell them, I love you. And it, that does not have a sensual or sexual connotation to it. Just you love, you love them. You love them as a person. But let's start with loving ourselves. We have to love ourselves before we know what love is and even to uh, extend love to someone else. What my love is to me means so much to me. And I only get that when God shares his love with me. He's given me the love to share. I love myself. Really, I love myself and then I can love others. I can't tell someone that I love you when I don't even really know what love is. But one of the things I do know is God gave his only son because he loved the world so much. He gave his only son, not a son, but his only son because he loved us that much. So we have to really learn how to love ourselves. The things that we do for ourselves, they're purposeful. It must be done for ourselves and then we can do for others. Something as simple as Love, that four-letter word, loving ourselves and loving others. What about the love for our families? I find that there are several generations that have been so abused that they pass that um, abusive energy and abusive um, physical activity onto the next generation. We must stop it at our own generation. Whatever generation you 
come from or whatever year you were born or whatever family you came from previously, we have to let the buck stop here. I'm going to learn how to love myself so that I can share with my children what love is. And then, you know, we have to, we just have to incorporate it in what we do, incorporate love in what we say, incorporate love in everything. We have to show love, not just talk it. I always say talk is cheap. Show me that you love me. Show others that you love them, whether it's in your deed or in the words that we say out of our mouths. We say one thing, but do another. People watch that. People watch that. So I want you to really begin to love yourself. Even pastors, even pastors um, from the pulpit, they share the love that God has given them. And you can always tell when there is an individual who does not speak or a preacher or a pastor, an elder, minister, teacher, anybody, even if you don't have a title, you can tell by the words that come out of their mouth if they actually love what they do or love God or love you. That word is such a powerful word, love. And sometimes we really do have to learn how to love, how to love. Some of the things that we do, it's not love. We do them because we just have to do them. Put some love in that and watch people um, literally melt, literally, literally melt because love is a powerful word. Love is a powerful word. Now, do we love just material things? What does it profit the world to gain the whole world? Profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. And though that love really can come from the soul and it comes from a, it could come from a dark place in your heart, in your soul, in your emotions. But when we take care of that, oh, the love that flows out would be amazing. You wonder why people like to hang out with you because you share the spirit of love that God gave you. Love. It is an action word. Love is an action word. Try it sometimes. And then even when it gets to the point of uh, you're, you're not feeling well about yourself, come on, you can get into the word of God and talk about or read about how much he loves you before you know it. It is it, transferable, transferable to other people, other individuals that don't know what pure love is. Hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling that myself. I'm feeling that myself because the world definitely needs love. And you can find it in individuals who love the Lord. And you can even find it in individuals who don't even have a relationship right now with God, who hasn't given them their heart, only because they may have been raised by God-loving people. What's your love life? What does it look like? What does it sound like? Think about it. Just a simple word, love. How many people have you told, I love you? I love you without it being a booty call. Yep, I said booty call. How many people do you love in the family, in your family that you told, love you, I love you? It will do something to the heart man, the heart of man, the minds of men your children, your husband. When the last time you told your husband, I love you? Think about it. When is the last time you told us your sister or your brother that you love them? It is amazing how we can easily tell other people, I love you. But those that are in our immediate circle, they've not seen love from you, nor have they heard love from you. Come on, something is wrong with that. Something is wrong with that picture. So we, I'm including myself, and I know Takira has my back as well. We are talking about the fact that we must love with a godly love. And until we get that godly love, let's really show love as much as we can. As much as we can, because the world needs love. 
when you encounter someone who's really nasty or someone who has a really negative um, disposition or someone who feels as though they uh, have arrived and is condescending to other people, show them some love. When you encounter someone with some negative energy, show them some love because you never know why people act like they act. And one of the reasons is because they've not been shown love. They've not been shown love. So it is our responsibility as believers. Whew. It is our responsibility as believers to show love. And then when we pass it down to our children, they show love. And then they pass it down to the next generation. They show love. Love is a powerful word. And I encourage you today, go out and show some love. First, learn to love yourself. And then those that are in your immediate circle, every now and then, pop that word out. I love you. Let's do this in the name of love. Let's go there. Let's go here. Let's do this. Let's do that in the name of love. Try it. And really, there are times we really have to practice it. We may not be doing it now, but if it's in your heart to do, yep, watch, watch it happen. Wow, I love that. No greater love than the love of God. Thank you, Mother Barnes. Mother Barnes says there's no greater love, which is so true. And you wonder why, how come, I'm sorry, you look at situations and you know a person have mistreated you. You know there are times when you find families where mothers and fathers mistreat their children. There's a difference in mistreating and disciplining, disciplining them. So I'm not getting that mixed up. But. When you can show love to someone who's mistreated you, whether it's a, a one-time thing or over the years, and still show love, you know there's no greater love than the love of God. So I encourage you, practice loving yourself. Practice saying, I love you, and really mean it. Don't just say it just to be saying it, but really mean it, and watch God do some things in your life. Okay? I love you. I really do. I love you and God's love in me causes me to love you. All right. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be blessed because the love of God is in you. He loves you. Find that love. Declare it out of your mouth that he loves you. Pray the love of God. God and if you don't feel the love, ask God to show you how to love. How to love. He'll do it. But you have to ask him. I can pray all day long for you. But you have to do it for yourself. All right. God bless you. I love you. And we shall see you again on tomorrow. With our guests. I've already confirmed. We're good. However. My thing is. Let me put this on the end of it. If it's the Lord's will. Think about that. If it's the Lord's will. We will see you tomorrow with a great topic. We will see you Friday. We will see you the Saturday. We will see you Sunday. We will see you Monday. We will see you Tuesday. We will... <laughs> I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.